I'm not foreign to anime. I'm quite familiar with Japanese culture and the quirky traits prevalent in anime. That being said, I haven't exposed myself to many anime movies. Rather, I've stuck to watching anime shows and reading manga. I've always liked anime shows, but I've never found myself wanting to watch anime movies, given that the only ones I've watched were Naruto and Pokemon, and they're far from masterpieces. That recently changed with me starting to watch Studio Ghibli movies, and even then, I wasn't really motivated to watch more. I was skeptical of watching more of these types of movies, worrying that I'd set myself up for disappointment. I play games very often, so I found it more difficult to actually sit down and pay full attention to something on screen. That feeling of being passive and not being directly involved with something on screen is something that's regrettably turned me away from watching movies and shows lately. However, after months and months of hearing continuous praise, I finally bit the bullet and took the time to sit down and watch Kimi no Nawa, or Your Name. And I have to say, I fucking loved this movie. The way it made me feel is unparalleled from any other sort of media I've ever consumed. Okay, maybe I'm exaggerating, but still, this movie is really, really good. And I want to talk about it. Kimi no Nawa is a romantic fantasy drama, an anime movie directed by Makoto Shinkai and released in 2016. In a nutshell, this movie is about a boy and a girl who swap bodies every now and then, and it's triggered when they sleep. The girl, Mitsuha, is a high school student that lives in the fictional town of Itomori. She's born into quite a ritualistic family, very traditional and cultural. Mitsuha is bored of her life in the countryside, wishing that she could live as a handsome city boy in the next. Soon, her wish is granted, kind of after she begins to swap bodies with Taki, a male high school student living in Tokyo. There's not much known about Taki's family, so we get the sense that he's distant, but we do get an insight into his life as a student. For one, he is very good at drawing and aspires to get into architecture. While Mitsuha and Taki swap bodies, they learn more about each other's lives and grow to appreciate each other without even speaking to each other. While Mitsuha and Taki swap bodies, they learn more about each other's lives and grow to appreciate each other without even speaking face to face. Throughout these swaps, they learn more about each other's lifestyles and how to better adapt in whatever situations they find themselves in. The only way they've been able to communicate with each other are through notes they write in each other's phones. The story is told from a greatly unique perspective and orchestrated in such a way that the pacing never felt off. There was never a dull moment in this movie. I was never distracted and I was greatly invested in every scene. I grew an attachment to the characters and hoped for the best for them. I really wanted them to reach a happy conclusion. There are moments in the story that are incredibly satisfying due to how well the story was thought out. Kimi no Nawa is best watched in Japanese. The movie wouldn't have the same effect if it were consumed through the English dub. There are scenes that don't make much sense in English because it loses the nuances and cultural significance of moments that are successfully portrayed through Japanese. One instance would be the lunch scene where Mutsuha in Taki's body uses the wrong pronoun, to which Taki's friends are confused by. In Japanese, the scene is humorous, whilst in English, the scene doesn't make sense at all. A girl? A girl? A, a gal? Hmm? I mean... Uh... <laughs> there are certain things that don't work at all in the English dub due to the cultural differences between the East and the West. The story is incredibly endearing to watch unfold, and I can't stop thinking about it. It's had a profound effect on me. One thing I love is how the characters' behaviour and mannerisms would change when they swap bodies. Both characters create a new personality for each other. Mitsuha being more impulsive and masculine if Taki was in her body, and Taki would be timider and more feminine when Mitsuha is in his body. The animators did a great job with portraying the change in body language for both characters. It was so interesting to see both characters learn to live each other's lives and build upon their established relationships. Speaking of animation, it's incredibly meticulous and awe-inspiring. The movie holds a number of sequences that would only be achievable through 2D animation, and it's a sight to behold. Each frame has an incredible amount of detail, and it helps that the backdrops are beautifully illustrated as well. The way the light touches the characters and surfaces greatly lends to the ambience of the scene, gauging certain reactions from me as the viewer. As someone who loves art and aspires to become an artist, 
The amount of detail in the backdrops is inspiring, and I greatly admire the amount of work that went into these scenes. It especially helps that the music in this movie is very moving, helping to create the tone and atmosphere. The soundtrack was created with the attempt of supplementing the dialogue of characters, at the request of Makoto Shinkai, and it's definitely evident given how scenes are edited together and animated, with the music adding another level of emotional investment. Like I said, I can't stop thinking about this movie, and it's led me to making a video about it. The characters, the music, the animation, the emotional weight of scenes, the warmth of the shots, the character motivations, the art, all terrorised my feelings and I wasn't prepared for it. There were moments where I was physically rendered breathless because I was just that invested in the movie. I can't get enough of it, and it's encouraged me to go on a journey to go on more emotional roller coasters like this. I've done my best to express how much I adore this movie in this video, and I hope it resonates with a lot of you. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, please leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. There are a lot of things I'm passionate about, and I hope to explore more of that in the future.